What's going on, y'all? It's Ayo with Street Sanctum, and I'm back with another one. So this is gonna be another quick video, like under five minutes type of quick video. All right. This video, I want to talk to y'all about three things that I think you should do if you have a business. It don't matter if it's a clothing line, photography, videography business, if you're a dancer, if you a skater, you know what I'm saying? Look, so now tip number one, you find a mentor. Now it doesn't matter if it's somebody on YouTube, Instagram, or somebody you have in person. But that mentor is supposed to motivate you and inspire you. So it could be a Hollywood Shack. You know what I'm saying? Dante's, Acro, you know what I'm saying? It could be, uh, who else do I want to look, look at? Dior you know what I'm saying? Just somebody that you can look at for influence, somebody that can motivate you, you know what I'm saying? Because you don't want to get stagnant, you don't want to be just comfortable where you're at. You want to look at what, what's the next level and how do I get there? What's going to inspire me? What's going to make me push myself to get to that next level? Don't compare, don't compare yourself, all right? Now, when you find this mentor, this somebody, this person you look up to, don't compare what you doing to them. Don't don't look at your followers and be like, man, why don't I have as many followers as them? Why am I not making as much money as them? Why, why are we not on the same? Don't do that. Don't compare yourself because you may have been doing this for five months. They may have been doing this for five years, you know what I'm saying? So you have to put in that work. And number two, Find someone on your same level. Again, this can be Instagram, YouTube, somebody that's probably been doing whatever you've been doing for the same length of time, similar length of time. In my opinion, this having somebody on your same level is, is, is not for a competition, but it's for competition, you know what I'm saying? So a friendly competition ain't never hurt nobody, you know what I'm saying? As long as you have actual sportsmanship. But somebody that you can look at and, and kind of peep what they're doing, like, all right, you upscaling, I need a that's gonna push me, that's gonna motivate me as well to, to upscale. You know what I'm saying? I don't think you need to be doing they're selling shorts, let me go sell shorts. They got some hats, let me go get some hats. Nah, but it's a matter of man, I keep seeing this dude's post. I keep seeing him uploading stuff. Let me go ahead and, and produce more content. I need to produce content as well. I, I can't get comfortable, you know what I'm saying? It's to hold you accountable, to motivate you, to keep you pushing. So I would say find someone on a similar level so that you can kind of gauge your progress as well. Don't compare yourself to a T, but I'm just saying use that as a kind of like, you know what I'm saying, to see how you're doing compared to someone that started in a similar time frame as you. The last one I'm gonna say is find someone to mentor. So this could be making YouTube videos like I'm doing. This could be having somebody that you know on, on social media, Instagram, Snapchat, somebody that you, TikTok, somebody that you know that wants to do something that you're doing, help guide them, help help prevent them from some of the mistakes that you've gone through. Whenever you teach someone something, it helps you reinforce what you know. So that's another benefit of finding someone to mentor. Teaching somebody else something also makes you rethink your process. Because when you say it out loud, you think about it. And for me personally, when I'm trying to tell somebody a process, sometimes that makes me think, oh, well maybe I can do do it this way. This might be a little bit more productive or beneficial. So whenever you have to actually say what you do or try to teach somebody something, it may even help you improve your process. The last reason I'm gonna say that you should find someone to mentor is because it's giving back, man. Somebody helped teach you something, so it's only right that you help somebody else learn something. It's, it's a circle of life, if you, if you will, you know what I'm saying? But. That's all I got for you for this video. I appreciate y'all. Go ahead and visit the Instagram, stream underscore sanctum. You on the YouTube, so go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you like about the video. Let me know, you know, what I could do better. Let me know if you learned anything out of this video, if you got any benefit out of this video. I just want a little bit more engagement from my people, you know what I'm saying? So January pretty much wrapped up. We finna head into February, so I hope y'all have a great rest of your month. And you know, we gonna have another great month, February. Peace.